Hey oh. Alright, let's jump right into this. Um, pretty much I was having issues uh, whenever I hopped. I The client would just freeze. My memory's been spiking every time. It would hit above 500 megabytes pretty much. It would just... Uh, my It would mess with my FPS. It was just constant stuttering, fluctuations. So I hit up my buddy AZ about this, which is who came up with this concept of, uh, of what I'm going to be showing you to do. Um, and pretty much what it is is... Java has it to where your memory like maxes out at 512 and we're just going to increase that from 512 to 2 gigs is all we're doing which then it kind of lets it to where it doesn't think it's going to blow itself up when it hits 512 because I mean I have a, a pretty decent setup and I don't want to go into too much detail because it's, it's boring it's just I'm just trying to explain to you what we're actually doing which is we're just we're taking um Increasing the, the memory limit to allow the client to use more memory. That's that's pretty much what we're doing, uh, which is using the Java command arguments. Which this is stuff AZ talked about. <laughs> I understand how to do it and everything, but I don't understand exactly you know how to do it. Like, well, we'll just go with that. So this is him uh, showing you guys pretty much how to do it. Uh, before I, we get into that though, um, I am going to show you on Windows 10 how to locate these. Uh, where your OS Buddy file is, if you don't know where it is, because I know some some of you guys, you know, aren't that computer side, but I'm pretty sure you can find these folders. Uh, he's gonna show you how to do this with Windows 7, but there's really no difference. Uh, same with Windows 8, but um, like I said, I do want to show you how to locate these certain files because if you already have OS Buddy uh, downloaded and you're using it, you're gonna know where the you're gonna need to know where these files are. And uh, he's gonna show you from scratch, like if you were, if you were downloading OS Buddy and everything else. But uh, I just wanted to kind of touch bases a little bit and let you know exactly what we're doing, which is just increasing the the memory that Java wants to use from 512 to two gigs. With that said, let's go ahead and uh, jump into what I was talking about. All right, so if you pretty much already know how to locate your OS Buddy file because of your screenshots and everything else, you can just skip to 338 and we'll get right into it at that time frame. Uh, if you don't know how to locate your C drive or anything, um, this is pretty much me showing you how to do it. You go to your bottom left corner. Uh, if you have Windows 10, you're going to have that file explorer, and then that's all you got to do. You just go to your C drive, uh, click on whatever user you have. Uh, mine's F Baker, um, and then with inside that folder you'll see the OS buddy about three quarters of the way down that's where it literally is for everyone um, the other thing I'm showing you is what you need to also find is your OS buddy executable executable file which is the uh, same concept through the downloads on um, on your file explorer or you can, if you use Google Chrome or anything you can just go to your download tab and uh, locate the file within there when you downloaded it so you will need to know where that is uh, it's osbuddy.exe. All right, as I mentioned, um, he's going to be showing you right now how to uh, download it from, like, if you don't have OSBuddy on your computer. Either way, you will have to go to OSBuddy's website to download the uh, cross-platform. Um, so first off, he's going to download the, the client itself. So that's what this is showing. Uh, you just need to know where I showed you how to find your executable file. That's pretty much what that is. And then you also want to download the cross-platform, and it's going to give you this little warning. Just hit keep, and then just... Um, he's putting everything on his desktop right now, which is perfectly fine. Uh, if you already have the folder open, you can just put it directly in your folder. He's going to show you uh, right now exactly what I did with Windows uh, 10. Um, it's just, it's a as you can tell, there's a bit difference <laughs> between the, the interfaces, so... Uh, that's why I wanted to show, because most people probably have Windows 10 now. Um, I just wanted to uh, to make sure everyone's kind of on the same page for the people that aren't that tech savvy. So all you want to do is you want to put your executable file uh, in the same OS Buddy folder, and then you also want to put that osbuddy.jar in there. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is open up your notepad, and below in the description, um, I will have what you need to copy and paste and put in the notepad. Uh, so you're going to want to just copy and paste that within the notepad and then you're going to want to do a, a save as and then the save as type you want to have it 
uh, selected as all files and then you want to relocate that folder the OS buddy folder so you want to go into um, your C drive and then users and then select where uh, where the folder is and then you want to name that file OS buddy or whatever you want to I mean you don't you just have to have it to where it's um, that dot command is at the very end and have it saved as in all files now once you have that part done you want to go into the OS buddy folder right click it cl select create shortcut and then on that shortcut you want to remove shortcut and whatever you want to have a title uh, now this is going to be to where you can make the icon uh, you can also put it on your toolbar if you wanted to but right click on that go to properties and then as he's showing you here type in cmd forward slash c and that's going to allow it to be you know it's going to work through the command prompt uh, to change the icon to where you have the OS buddy symbol you um, this is where that executable file comes into play uh, you want to go into the OS buddy folder um, once again he's showing you where it is user uh, whatever your user is go into the OS buddy folder and then um, select the just select the OS buddy and then it'll give you the OS buddy folder uh, I kind of didn't mention where to do that uh, it's right there in the middle where it says change icon just select change icon and that's where you're able to do that and then once you get all that done you can just uh, pretty much close that minimize it whatever you want to do with it double click on it and there you go um, like I said this is a pre-made script uh, if you look at it it does tell you where <laughs> towards the beginning where it says 2000 or 2048 it's 2048 that's increasing from the 512 to the 2 gigs um, within the script but like I said that's it uh, nothing I mean you're literally just messing with the the Java script script sorry uh, you're not um, screwing with anything with OS buddy uh, this is strictly just rewriting the script so it it doesn't have a, a memory limit of 512 it's uh, you're just increasing it to 2 gigs so that way once it hits above 512 it's not wanting to start stuttering and fighting with itself because obviously your PC is you know equipped with a lot more than I, I would hope 512 uh, megabytes worth of RAM um, other than that I mean I uh, hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions just leave a comment below I'm I'm pretty sure me or AZ can uh, can answer them for you um, so I hope you guys have a good day and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video I know it's been a long time since I've made any type of video but I really want to get this one out because I feel like uh, it would help out um, a good amount of people. So, see you guys later.